Well, my name's uh, Bill Brayman. I uh, am with Christian Hansen in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I am the Vice President for North America for the animal health and nutrition business. My activities have, have been involved with uh, direct fed microbials. Uh, Christian Hansen is one of the leaders uh, in the world in the research and marketing of direct fed microbials to swine and poultry. I've been in the nutrition business many years and have seen many problems with direct fed microbials in the past due to inconsistent responses. And as I came to Christian Hansen, I recognized that there was a need to do more research and to prove the efficacy and consistency of performance with direct fed microbials. And as we've developed uh, the research and documented the results, we've created a situation where we're, cre we're, we're creating more trust in the marketplace with uh, direct fed microbials. And through this trust, we're seeing more interest in adopting the use of direct, met, direct fed microbials in both broiler and swine rations. As I look at the uh, animal health business, uh, there is a place for both probiotics and for antibiotics. Uh, there is a, definitely a trend towards the use of uh, natural feeding programs, and we are positioned very well with our direct fed microbials to uh, be a part of a natural feeding program. We prove efficacy in specific feeding situations and uh, can uh, get performance that's equivalent to the use of uh, many of the antibiotics in the market. At Christian Hansen, we continue to look for growth opportunities. Uh, geographically, we see opportunities uh, to grow into uh, the China market. The China market will take some time because of regulatory issues uh, to get products registered. Uh, however, we see that as an emerging market that uh, is going to be very interested in natural uh, feeding programs. Uh, two other areas that Christian Hansen is very active in in terms of growth is Eastern Europe. Uh, because of a acquisition we made, it has launched uh, our business in Eastern Europe and we see uh, many of the operations in Eastern Europe being somewhat similar in terms of the way they manage uh, their, their uh, flocks or their swine as we see in the U.S. And the third area we're expanding into is uh, Central America, which, uh, although a small market, is uh, growing in terms of the uh, demand for uh, uh, swine and poultry. Uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, what Christian Hansen is doing uh, in the marketplace, and uh, we see a bright spot uh, in the future as we uh, go forward with the uh, probiotics, direct-fed microbials in swine and poultry production.